welcome back to my channel. My name is Vanessa if you are new here or if you are just stumbling across this video. Today I'm going to be sharing with you some of my favorite winter coats that I personally believe are stable pieces. There's a pretty good wide range of options and some dressy, some you can dress down. Actually most of them you could probably dress up or down. So. That's about it for this intro. Um, if you are interested in the jackets that I show in today's video, I'll have them linked in the description box below. As always, everything is linked down there. Um, be sure to check out my Instagram, which is always in the description box as well. So let's just hop right in. My first jacket here is probably the most staple. My number one tip is to invest, if you can, in a jacket that is like a typical puffer jacket that's going to keep you super warm. If you can, you don't have to do North Face, but I would definitely invest in a jacket that's going to keep you warm, especially if you live in colder climates. So this is a jacket that I just have from the North Face. What's good about these jackets, it's just a trench puffer. Um, it's not sh super shiny or anything, so you can dress this up or down. You just can't go wrong with having a jacket like this. I feel as though it's super essential. When you invest in a jacket like this, it's not like you're gonna have it for just one season and then it'll rip or it'll be all worn and you'll have to get rid of it. I've had this jacket for I think like about two or three, maybe even longer years. I've had this jacket for quite some time now actually. And with Christmas right around the corner, if you are looking for a jacket like this, I would definitely recommend asking for one for Christmas if you cannot go out and purchase one yourself. So this is um, my number one staple piece to have throughout the winter. And then my favorite coat of all time, I have this in two colors, but it's the Abercrombie Dad Coat. It's your typical trench coat. It's on the nicer looking side, so you can dress this up. You could even dress it down with some joggers and like a nice like sweatsuit or something like that. But these jackets I wear all throughout the winter, even the fall into the spring months, just because they're super warm, but they're so versatile as well. Abercrombie, um, I don't know if they're still having their sale right now, but this coat usually goes on major sale. It just was recently, and I wouldn't doubt that if it's not right now, it won't go on, on sale again before Christmas. So I would recommend this one. This is also um, another staple jacket that I would recommend to anyone. If you are willing to invest in a nice jacket, I would recommend doing that with a down jacket like I just showed you my North Face and then with a jacket like this that's on the more nice side where you could dress it up. If you are working in an office or something and you need to dress up to go to work every single day, you could also wear this over um, your outfit and it's going to keep you super warm. Like I actually was cold because I literally have shorts on right now. I'm cold in my apartment and I just threw this on and it made me 10 times warmer. So I would recommend this jacket to anyone because it is my favorite jacket of all time. I've literally got my money out of it. I, like I said, have two um, of these jackets. One I got like three years ago, this one I got last year. But the other one probably two years ago and this one was last year. And I still wear them very often. They have held up so well and they're just really amazing jackets. So then we'll get into actually one more. I have one more like more expensive jacket, I guess I'll show you quick. And that is another jacket from Abercrombie. This jacket right here I recently got from Abercrombie. It's their teddy coat and it is so, so comfy and cozy. Um, I would say this is like my next favorite jacket from Abercrombie. I've been looking at this jacket for years now and just never purchased it. And they recently sent it to me and I'm so grateful because I love it so, so much. This comes in several different colors. Um, they have very similar jackets to this as well. Um, their jacket selection is just great. That's where I like to buy a lot of jackets and I would recommend uh, for this time of year to do so, especially when they're on sale. But this is pretty self-explanatory. Again, I would totally dress this up or down. Basically, that goes for all of the jackets that I have to show you, but 
I also personally like to get a size up in my jackets just because after how many years of dealing with sweaters under like big bulky sweaters under jackets I hate it I hate being so uncomfortable and like I can't move because I have so many layers on in the winter so from now on I've just decided to size up in my jackets and it's been the best decision for me so far um, I am typically a true small and everything and I get a medium um, in all of my jackets now. All right, so then going into now some of my more affordable options for jackets. The first one was a hit when I posted about it. It's this Boohoo plaid jacket. It's very similar to the dad coat that I showed you from Abercrombie, but it's definitely a little bit less heavy, so it's not going to keep you like extremely warm, but this is still really great quality. It's very heavy, but I'm just saying it's not as heavy as the Abercrombie dad coat, so it's a very good alternative. Um, and I really love this one a lot. It fits like a glove, it's perfect, and it seriously is a great option. Boohoo, Misguided, um, all of those websites have really great jackets like this if you're looking for a cheaper option. So like I said, not as heavy, but still keeps you nice and warm and cozy. So this one is another favorite of mine. Although this jacket is not really warm at all um, because it's a leather jacket. Leather jackets usually aren't warm. I would recommend maybe getting like a moto uh, like fur line jacket. That would be good. I don't have one of those but this is from Misguided. It's just a leather jacket and the reason why I still am including it in this video is just because I find, I mean not with maybe this year as much, but I find when I'm going somewhere like if I was going out to the bar or if I was going out to dinner where I knew that I was just going to be inside and would get hot inside, but obviously still wanted to put something on over my outfit to keep me a little bit warm when I am outside for like split second. That's when I grab for a biker jacket like this um, because it's so versatile. You can throw it on literally over anything, over a hoodie and sweatpants. Like I sized up in this jacket as well to be a little bit more oversized. Actually, no, I didn't. I stayed true to size in this one because it already is oversized. So, yeah. But I could have definitely gone up a size if I wanted to. But this jacket is also really amazing. Like I said, if you are going out somewhere, going somewhere where you're going to be inside, but you still want a little bit extra like warmth, but not like a full-on coat, this is a really good thing to have on hand. Just year-round, I would say. Not even for the winter. It's just a year-round jacket that goes great with absolutely any outfit and... Um, is something I always reach for. This next jacket is also from Boohoo and I again was super shocked with the quality of this jacket itself. It's again not as heavy as the dad coat but a really great alternative if you're not looking to spend that price point. So this is around a more affordable price point and it's still a great quality jacket. Um, I feel as though trench coats you can just never go wrong. This one is kind of a little bit more dressy. It has a hood but the way that it's like I don't know it just looks a little bit more dressy on doesn't mean that you can't dress it down but it's definitely like it gives me more of a dressed up vibe and it comes with a belt I don't really like tying my jackets but you totally can it comes with uh, buttons too so you can button it up pockets you know the deal the whole nine yards but I love this one a lot I'll try it on for you really quick Again, I sized up in this one, so that could be a little bit more oversized. So, yeah. And this one definitely goes pretty long. So, it's definitely a longer jacket, which I think also helps make jackets look a little bit more high-end when they are a longer length, um, even though they aren't high-end at all. Not necessarily, but it does give it more of a high-end, chic look. And then lastly, we will circulate back to the puffer. This one is a short puffer. It's more of a boxy puffer. And I never had a short puffer before, aside from like ski jackets, but I got this one from Princess Polly two months ago, or wait, maybe last month. 
I think it was like at the beginning of last month I got this and I honestly haven't worn my North Face at all this year. I've been wearing this one more than anything because it's just so much easier to throw on over literally any jacket or any outfit and I think it goes with so many things. I don't know, I just really like, I've been liking the switch of the short length versus the long puffer. So this is just what I've been gravitating towards. Now this is, I think it retails for like a hundred and some. Um, I do have a coupon. I think Princess Polly is also running a lot of sales throughout the month for the holidays, but I will have this linked in the description box with my coupon if you are interested. Um, and it has pockets. It's not like North Face quality where it's like really, um, like high quality down on the inside so it will keep you like extremely warm like if i lived in antarctica i wouldn't go for this one i'd probably go for the north face or something warmer than that but you get what i mean like just for a typical winter jacket this one does the job and i really like it a lot like i said i wear it all the time now it's my go-to jacket at this moment so that is it for all of my jackets for today. I'm sure I will have more of them to come. So if you are interested in seeing more jackets for the winter, let me know. I could totally do that for you. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe if you aren't already. And I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.